Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, how do we speed up the purification process, the journey to nothingness and the sacrifice of our will? The love and ishq, this is the fastest process coming in right now. That we, we notice this year is much stronger than last year. As, as more difficulty is now entering into this year, by January they say many, many difficult things will be entering into dunya. The system and the equation for Allah always has to be balanced. So for us to understand if a hundred negative enters into this earth, there must be from Allah a hundred positive. The formula is always balanced, right? But the result is that a few will represent many. Where there should have been 10 million people sitting in the zikr right now, there will be a hundred people representing 10 million people. Means they take all the barakah and the light into their souls. But the formula remains balanced. So when the overwhelming negativity opens more and more on dunya, means then glad tidings for those whom are good. That Allah give them from fountains of abundance. That the overwhelming springs of authority, lights and power enter into their souls. And what Allah has planned for their souls, nobody can understand. But they should understand that when Allah want to begin to open for people, merely begins to open their heart and souls. And what then was the directive? Beware of the gaze of the believer for they look at you with the light of Allah the firasal. So whatever shaitans think they're doing, they have no preparation for the light that Allah will put into the hearts of His servants and their mere gaze of their eyes can burn and destroy everything. So it means they plan, Allah's plan is far greater, far more superior. So it requires that they purify, they meditate, they contemplate, they make their madad. That's why we, we simplify Islamic teachings into very easy subjects. So you're going to see on every scientific show portals, portal, portal, portal because they're talking about it. NASA says they have it, they have the technology. They are 300 years more advanced than what they show people. They have the ability to open a parda with their hydrogen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Colliders and they're all around the earth and other technologies. They have an ability to enter into the falaq. And Qul A'udhu bi Rabbil falaq. Allah warned us, don't bring that energy, but shaitan that's all they like. So, I mean, they're going to bring energies in and they're going to take people through to create fitna. So, the reason they talk in energy and talk is so that the believer won't be awestruck by Dajjal, won't think, wow, well our belief is backwards, look at what these people have. No, they have to make things. Allah just makes it to appear. It's completely different. When the believer believes and they have faith, the zikr is a portal. This majlis is described in a halaqa of Prophet's hadith is a portal from paradise. The angels are here, that's a portal, sending the tajalli all the way from Arsha Rahman. Means that everything in this majlis now is coming from Arsha Rahman. Every light, every energy, every tajalli and that Prophet in another narration, eat and drink 
in those paradise circles. When you see the halakas stop, when you see the halakas graze, means eat and drink from them, there are paradise tajallis. They take away difficulties and dress you with lights. So this everything, everything we are doing Prophet gave to us a portal, fast. Says as soon as the believer fasts, the gates of paradise open for them. What does that mean? You only get it from death? What are you going to do at that time only? But as soon as you have difficulty on this earth, you feel that you're coming under attack, you feel something's not right, immediately Prophet described for us siyam, immediately enter into a state of fast. As soon as you begin to fast, said seven gates of paradise are opening for you. Means these seven portals are now dressing you, gave us everything. So means we have to take those and now bring it back down to everyday knowledge for people. So we have many portals in Islam that will protect us, nourish us, give us lights and energies from this dajjalic system when they begin to attack and, and send all sorts of negative energies, all sorts of negative understandings. When they bombard you with noise and frequencies, the nasheeds in Qur'an are a portal. As soon as you play them, an energy begins to emit from them that encompasses the believer, safeguards them. Because the noise and energy is that when you get attacked, you can become very anxious, very disturbed because these are satanic energies that begin to attack people. So then you need a portal to enter into. Then Qur'an and salawat is a portal, immediately an energy circul… Cir what is it? Encompasses the believer as a protection. Then they taught the madad, make the madad. As soon as you train on how to make your madad, how to make your connection, when Allah Ittaqullah wa kunu ma sadiqeen, Ittaqullah wa kunu ma sadiqeen. Allah doesn't care for dunya. So when Allah is teaching you, He's teaching you from an eternal world of light. Have a consciousness and keep the company of sadiqeen. Not earthly sadiqeen only because it's not about the earth. But make a madad and keep the company of these truthful servants, the same ones that you give salams in your salah, at tahiyyat wa tahibat, wa salamu alayka ayyuhan nabi, wa salamu alaykum ibadullahi salihin. You're in salah and Allah is teaching you, give them salams, they're all around you. By means of them guarding you, you have faith. If the guards should drop and shaitan attack you, you won't pray that day. People don't understand that. They don't understand the words they're saying when they're praying. In the salah, tayyad lillah wa tayyibad lillah, and then assalamu alaykum ayyuhan nabi. In present tense, Prophet is facing you. Wa salamu alaykum ibadullahi saliheen. Who are the saliheen? Any of the pious servants that Allah has ordered to be around you, Allah bringing to your consciousness, give them salams. Why? Because, wa kunu ma sadiqeen, they're always around you, keep their company, be conscious of them, open the world of light and you should feel these pious souls always around you and that becomes your perpetual portal. That they're always around, the light is always around and you feel the protection of that light. That's what's important inshaAllah. Uh, Sayyidi, a question from a sincere brother online. InshaAllah. Asking, uh, did Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him speak about energy? Speak about energy? Yeah, everything. Everything that Prophet brought, brought. These are, these are like these philosophy stuff. stuff. That uh, did Prophet specifically mention the English word energy? They didn't speak English at that time. 
So, but in Qudra, in, in languages of energy and in, in Qudra definitely all the teachings is about the Qudra. Now was it relative at that time to talk specifically the way we're talking? No, it wasn't necessary because for every time, uh, for every sickness there's a remedy. And for the sickness of today, the remedy is a knowledge and a vocabulary that's relevant to the time today. So if that's what we said before when people want to know Islam, they, they don't go, did Prophet specifically say this specific word, therefore you deduce that word and came up with this understanding. But everything from Islam was by inspiration and a connection to Prophet so the, the book that they all accept, Sahih Bukhari, how was it compiled? He compiled the hadith, made his muraqabah with Prophet and then was told how to name the chapters. <coughs> so there's never a time in which anyone did anything that was void of their contact and connection with Sayyidina Muhammad So means that this connection with Prophet gives to awliyaullah and those whom study under awliyaullah the verbiage that's necessary for today. So he's the one whom's teaching bring it to a common denominator because if we talk salah everyone's going to argue about how to do salah. But if I talk about energy it will answer all your questions of salah. Huh? And if I talk about energy you'll understand wudu, why you have to wash? Because they think it's about water, that you have to throw an abundant amount of water upon yourself and that's wudu. No, because the companions used less than this cup of water in the middle of desert with a lot of dust all over them. It wasn't just shower with 10 gallons of the sink water coming all over. But it was a, a symbolism that water will burn these different shaitans. So just put enough of this water onto you to burn this energy and then gave us tayammum because the sand also burns and extinguishes these creatures. The sand takes away the fire of this energy. So these were all energy teachings, all of the reality exists within every word of Prophet because when you… when they study hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad it's like a bullet point with three points but it didn't end there because it's required to be connected to Prophet So they merely enter into the hadith and then Prophet begins to expand the knowledge and its understanding. And that's why they can take so many hadiths and begin to move it from all different directions. You'll be with whom you love. Well that is an immense reality. So your whole life will be with whom you love. If you love the wrong people that's a warning then from Prophet you'll be with whom you love. If you love the wrong people then you're going to be with them. You're not going to say, I'm, I'm with these guys now but later I'll be with the heavenly people. Then another way to understand is that you be with whom you love that give your muhabbat and love to these pious people and your soul will always be with them. And who you love, the same hadith, read it the other way, who you love will be with you because whom you love you'll be with. But that's the same as saying then whom you love will be with you. So that's the companionship. When we love Prophet no doubt the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah is dressing and accompanying the servant, washing them, cleansing them, shahidan, mubashiran wa nadiran. That his witness over them, he's giving them glad tidings and lights and then nadiran guiding them towards goodness and abstaining from badness. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzatama yasifoon, salaamun al mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Muhammadi Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Najjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, 
Our water well give the gift of life. Our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.